Hello business owners, it's HiCom Accounting again. Welcome back to Tax Essentials for Business. In this video, you will learn the fundamental rules that apply to all business records, as well as why you need to keep accurate and complete records. There can be legal and financial consequences, if your business doesn't comply with the ATO's record-keeping requirements. This video will cover the following sections. 1. Why record-keeping is so important. 2. What records are needed. 3. ATO's 5 rules for record-keeping. 4. Manual or paper record-keeping. 5. Digital storage of paper records. Number 1. Why record-keeping is so important. You are legally required to keep records of all transactions, relating to your tax and superannuation affairs as you start, run, sell, change or close your business. There can be legal and financial consequences, if your business doesn't comply with the ATO's record-keeping requirements. Moreover, keeping records help you run business smoothly by, monitor the health of your business, profit or loss, make sound business decisions, keep track of money you owe and money owed to you. Monitor your cash flow to help you to make payments on time. Demonstrate financial position to lenders or buyers. More easily meet your tax, super and employer obligations. Provide the information if the ATO audits your business. A registered tax agent, like us, is available to set up and manage your business's records. Getting help early will save you valuable time and money in the long term. Number 2. What records are needed? A record explains the tax and super-related transactions conducted by your business. The record needs to contain enough information for the ATO to determine the essential features or purpose of the transactions, so the ATO can understand the relevance of the transactions to your business's income and expenses. You'll need to keep records of all your sales and expenses to prepare your activity statements, annual tax returns and to meet other tax obligations. The minimum information that needs to be on the record is generally the date, amount, character and the relevant GST information. Purpose of the transaction. Relationships between parties to the transactions if relevant. Generally, records you need to keep include income and sales records of all sales and barter transactions. All business expenses, including cash purchases. All bank records, such as bank statements and loan documents. Details of what assets you buy and spend on those assets. Copies of contracts and franchise or other agreements car and business travel expenses via a diary or logbook, fuel expenses if you want to claim fuel tax credits, any tax invoices and adjustment notes, wages, allowances, superannuation made to employees. Number 3. The ATO's 5 Rules for Record Keeping These 5 record keeping rules apply to most records your business is required to keep to meet your tax, super and employer obligations. These are based on law and the ATO view. If you aren't sure how those rules apply to your situation, ask a registered tax agent like us for help. We will help you get back on track if you make an error. Rule 1. You need to keep all records related to starting, running, changing, and selling or closing your business that are relevant to your tax and super affairs. If your expenses relate to business use and personal use, make sure you have clear documents to show the business portion. Rule 2. The relevant information in your records must not be changed, and must be stored in a way that protects the information from being changed, or the record from being damaged. The ATO may ask you to show them you have appropriate safeguards in place. You need to be able to reconstruct your original data if your record-keeping system changes over time. Rule 3. You need to keep most records for 5 years. Generally, the 5-year retention period for each record starts from when you prepared or obtained the record or completed the transactions or acts those records relate to, whichever is later. However, in some situations, the law states that the start of the five-year retention period is different. There are also situations where you need to keep some records for longer than five years. Rule 4. You need to be able to show the ATO your records if the ATO asks for them. Make sure you keep information about your record-keeping system, so the ATO can check that it meets the record-keeping requirements. Make sure that the information on the record includes the relevant details to meet your tax, super and employer obligations. Rule 5. 
your records must be in English or able to be easily converted to English. If you keep electronic records on your computer, they must be in a form that you can easily access and convert into written English. Number 4. Manual or Paper Record Keeping Manual record keeping may mean more time spent on paperwork, but it can be suitable for business owners with less complex business affairs. If you keep paper versions, or hard copies, of your paper records, make sure you keep your business records safe and secure. We have some tips for you to manage your paper records. 1. Go out and grab 10 folders. Use manila, accordion files, manila envelopes, whichever you prefer. Don't use plastic sleeves because the ink on receipts can stick to them. 2. Label your folders, 1 for 2020, 2021 all the way to 2025. Remember the ATO requires you to keep records for at least 5 years. 3. Put this year's folder somewhere visible. Don't hide it in a filing cabinet where you will forget about it, have it close on hand so you can put your records in as soon as you get them. 4. Collect and keep every relevant records. If you aren't sure, just keep it. 5. Don't use a highlighter, the ink used on some records soon disappears if a highlighter is used on it. Number 5. Digital storage of paper records. You can store and keep paper records digitally. The ATO accepts images of business paper records saved on a digital storage medium, provided the digital copies are true, and clear reproductions of the original paper records, and meet the five rules for record keeping. Once you have saved an image of your original paper records, you don't have to keep the paper versions. Creating a digital version of paper F POS merchant receipts is a good practice as the details on some of these can fade over time. Where possible, the ATO recommends businesses use digital record keeping. If you are new to business and don't know what you need to do, or if you are running existing business and still aren't sure how this information applies to your situation, it is best to seek help early from a registered tax agent like us. Getting help early from us will save you valuable time and money in the long term.